Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 96. Well, as you may know, I've done two shows on reviewing inexpensive shortwave radios. And I showed you basically the features and something about the radios, the two radios. And those two radios being this Kobe which is a model CXCB12 and this Kobe which is model, I have to look on the back here CXCB92 and um, oh I put it over there stand by Okay, so we, I, us, looked at a couple of things uh, related to these radios. We looked at look at and feel, readability, power options, tuning, audio quality, special features, and now we're going to attempt to look at reception because it's evening and so reception should be better. Now let me preface by saying this hasn't been easy. I've tried three nights in a row and what I've tried to do is I've been using my big old Sony shortwave radio to find a station which it doesn't have any problem at all. So right now it's on let me turn the volume down it's on 9.57 megahertz and I looked that up and it's coming in loud and clear as you heard there for a microsecond and I looked that up on, on the web page called short-wave which gives you a listing of the schedules for radio shortwave radio stations and you can uh, do searches by language by station by frequency whatever so um, I looked up that frequency and according to that web page and I did hear them announce it on the radio this is a station from I'm uh, inclined not to say but from China now you never know if the station is since it's broadcast from China it might be broadcast from multiple places so it could be down the street I don't know but it says China which would be great because on my Sony it's like booming in like it's a local AM station okay so then I tried to tune those two, and these are under $12 radios, in case you haven't seen my other videos, to that frequency. Now, on this radio, this Kobe, it has a digital display, so it's pretty easy to tune, and the display is pretty accurate. So I've got it tuned. The other thing I struggle with is because I'm using the whip antennas, telescopic antennas, whatever you want to call it, that's built into the radio. Um, and I have all kinds of electronics going in this room you get interference. But if you get a strong signal, as you can see by my Sony, it breaks right through it, no problem. So, keep that in mind. Not the best environment. So, if all hasn't failed here, Okay, the other thing is I found these radios very direction. Is it Chinese? So, if I set this in the right position, it comes through, clears a bell, just like my Sony. And, and it says it's, well, it's, I, I bumped it a little bit. It was 
957, which is the right frequency. So this is that not having any problem at all. Now, like I said, that's on my Sony, that's a very strong signal, which I don't know if that's coming from China directly or not. But anyway, so let me turn this off or down. Okay, set that down. So that one's working fine. Little thing up there. So here I come with the other one. And as you remember from my other video about this radio, it didn't fare too well as far as other attributes except for reception. And I'm speaking of short wave reception. So anyway, as I said before, this dial here is really hard to read for me. Really hard to read. Plus, the tuning knob is really hard to turn. So it's not very easy to tune. But we're going to try it again right now. So I'm going to turn the volume up. That's all i got so far. Okay, so I'm looking at the dial. And I'm able to read it. I'm tuning around, there's two marks around that area, one is 9-4, and one is 9-7-5, 9-4-0, So I'm tuning in between there to try to get 9-5-7. Bear with me. Might be a short test here. There was some. Okay, it's kind of music. Let me turn this down. Turn this one back up and see what's. Nope, we're still talking on this one. So it's not music. Turn this back up. I'm trying my best. All I'm getting is around that area is a strong station that's playing music. Not this China station. Let me turn this down. It's not the China station, which on the other two radios, the Sony and this Kobe down here, it's booming in. It's not coming in on this radio. Now, let me try. I'm trying to give up my give it a chance here okay we tried tuning away from it maybe the the uh, indication is not right I'm trying okay let me try to move a different position. You can see it's really getting hampered by the interference. Can't do it. So, for that particular frequency, you know, that particular channel, radio, whatever, this guy ain't getting it. Okay, so I'm going to set this back down. And go back to this one. Turn the volume back up. Coming through fine. Okay, let's try a different frequency. And I don't want to make this show too long. Okay. Okay, that's coming through pretty clear, but I want to, I want to, apparently I'm going to have to find a strong station. 
Okay, that sounds like Radio Habana. And that's at 950. Oops. So we'll turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. And we'll try this one and see if we can get that station. So that was 950. Nothing. Okay. Try it the other way. I'll try to find some station on this on this radio and see if I can get on the other radio. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find any station. I'm trying. I'm getting about three stations at the same time. Here we go. Okay. That's coming in. And we turn the sound off. And it looks like we have to go under the light here to read it. It looks like it's about nine one five. Nine one five on the dial. So I'll try to tune this one. Nine one five. Yep, I'll change bands. Oh, I can't get to 915 on this radio. Whoops, let me show you which radio. On this radio, I can't get 915. Now, I thought they used on this radio, I thought the bands were overlapping. So let me try again. I go down one. Okay, it starts at 716. And then I go up. And it only goes to 8.1. So there's a gap between 8.12 and 9 something, whatever the other one was. Go back down. 9.2. Although, it says, I'm reading in the back here, it says it tunes from. Turn the sound down. It says on the back here. It says it tunes from 6.0 dash 23.2. To me, that indicates it's continuous. But it ain't continuous. Huh. What's with that? I guess I'll have to go back and read the ad again. Because this ain't continuous. Hmm. So anyway, that kind of puts a minus on this guy. It says it's continuous and it's not. At least that's what it's implying on the back here. Yeah, let me go, uh, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, standby. I got the spec sheet right here. And let's just see what the spec sheet says. Oh, that's wrong language. That won't help me any. Uh, this is in French, so that's not going to help me. I know there's an English one here somewhere. Uh, that's Italian, that's not going to help me. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, English! Something I can read. Well, kind of read. Okay. Da -da -da. 
Frequency range. Short wave. 6.0 dash 23.2. That sounds like it's supposed to be continuous. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Okay, we'll go to band 2. Band 2. Now, and I got it turned, I got the dial turned all the way down. And it's 7.16. So I'll tune it up. And it goes to 8.12. Keep that, remember that number, 8.12. Okay, and I'll go up to the next band. And since I already turned it all the way up, it's at the top, 10.66. So I'll tune it down. Nine point two. It's not continuous. So, uh, what can I say? So, this one appears to have fairly good reception. Unfortunately, it kind of lied to me in the paperwork and then on the back. That it's not continuous to receive it says it's now I'm just going to go back here to a sheet that I made before and see this is what is advertised as the bands the nine bands on this radio and it goes let's just kind of pick that area it goes from 710, you can't see it, from 710 to 7, 7.1 7 to 7.6, and then 9.1 to 10.2. Okay, now I'm going to look at the front of this, at the dial, and see 7.1 to 7.6. Yep, that, that's what was in the manual. Okay, and then 9.1 to 10.2. Yeah. So as far as the dial is showing me, it is tuning what it says it's tuning. And of course, that's just what the dial says. So, <laughs> depending on what station you want to listen to, you have to choose different radios. <laughs> I don't understand that. And especially since this one so indicates both in the on the radio, in the ad, and on the directions and it's continuous. I think I've been gypped. I think I've been gypped. Doesn't say anything about not, not being continuous. Oh well. So um, we're already up to 18 minutes on this video so I, I think I'm going to quit. So you see the reception on this radio is pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to sit down and determine what the actual tuning ranges are because it's lied to me and I'll put that in the show notes for this show so you'll know and this one of course is not continuous it's not advertised as continuous but you can't pick up hardly anything there's a message for you it's and it's very hard to tune try to yeah you know, it, it is picking up something there and like I say it's Looks like it's like 915. And if I turn around here real quick and look. Yeah, there is a, a Voice America on 915. Turn it off. On 915. So. It's picking up something. <laughs> it's picking up a frequency that the radio can't or won't. So, um, I don't know. If you want an AM, FM radio, digital display, clock, 12 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, and its frequencies it does tune, short wave, is not too bad. And the the digital display is pretty accurate. So, still pretty good radio. 
Oops, let me turn this off. Off is right there. Okay. So, going back to the scorecard, we had, and I didn't do my homework, so I haven't averaged these ups, but look and feel in the first column is this radio, and the red is the other radio. And you can see that this radio, which is black, got a D on readability. It's not impossible for me to read. You get an F for actually tuning things, that tuning knob. And they got a C on special features, which is, that's kind of just kind of threw that in there, so that's not a big deal. Reception, it gets an F. It gets an a D minus at least they don't make E an F I'd say an F for I'm talking about shortwave now he gets an F the other radio I'm going to give it I would give it an A if it was continuous tuning like it says it is but it's not so I'm going to give it a B so overall it looks like um, this guy is going to get about a C plus or B minus no, a B. It gets a B. It's got three A's. So it gets a B. It's got a C and a B and a B. So it gets it gets a B. This guy it's got an A, a D, B, F, B, C. About a C minus to a D. Bottom line, don't buy one of these. Don't buy one of these. If you're gonna buy a $12 radio. This is not a bad buy. So I've added this to my Amazon store, put it on the front page. So it'd be nice if you want to get one to get it through my Amazon store and then I get a very small little commission. So much for a commercial. Anyway, I'm over 22 minutes. That's the show for a day. It'll probably take me about four hours to upload. But thanks for watching. Bye bye.